Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you that uh, that PCB board from the hard disk which is got uh, uh, smoked yesterday when I plugged in the power, power plug you can here you can see that uh, hard drive which is um, <coughs> unscrewed the PCB board here you can see that uh, 160 GB Seagate hard drive uh, I'm gonna show you today how to swap or uh, you don't need to swap the board PCB board uh, you can easily uh, you can you cannot uh, you don't need to spend any money for that I'm gonna show you this you can get this crap hard disk from junkyard you can get this thing from the somewhere it's it's not working hard disk okay here you can see the Samsung hard drive um, you can see that board PCB board yeah one second and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how to just repair you smoked hard drive I, I just show you this one <coughs> uh, this is the Seagate 160 GB hard drive uh, this is the board PCB board which it got smoked uh, which the diode got burned uh, when I plugged the power cord in here you can see that that uh, power cord the 12 volt and 5 volt <coughs> uh, here we go and um, see the two diodes over there and which I soldered yesterday uh, can you see that uh, there are two diodes which one is bigger one is 12 volt and the smaller one is 5 volt and uh, which you got burnt uh, when I plugged the power cord see you can see that here you can see that uh, this one this one is 5 volt this one is got burnt which is got burnt uh, and uh, this 12, 12 volt also that uh, got burnt uh, for that you need to swap the two diodes from alternate board and uh, these two diodes I uh, soldered um, in this board you can see that plus and uh, <coughs> plus or a symbol in that towards that you can consider as you can that uh, consider as a, a plus or minus in the diode here you can see that uh, uh, see the plus mark can you see that the plus mark and this 12 volt diode here you can see the plus mark over here that means this is the plus port I don't know about the most electronic ports but I can just assume that which we can repair easily without spend money if you uh, if you buy a new hard disk Seagate you have to spend more than twenty dollars and uh, uh, all you need all you need is uh, once this soldering stick this solder stick and uh, this uh, soldered paste you can just uh, spend a little bit cents you can call from the local electronics this is the lead and some tools screwdriver screwdrivers and just unscrew it and get the uh, PCB board and uh, you just from get this from junkyards from somewhere else you can get this cheap cheaper than you know uh, it's the scrap I got from in that you know I spent like a cent some money <coughs> it's not working hard right <coughs> uh, here uh, the two diodes which I removed from this board here you can see <coughs> uh, this one is 5 volt and this one is uh, 12 volt diodes TVS diodes and um, and can you see that which I removed but you need a soldering skill for that remover don't uh, damage the board and uh, <coughs> you can easily I give you some tips you just uh, put some paste over here in the both side and along along this this uh, you know this diodes also that 5 volt diode both side you have put some paste and just put your solder nib over here and it will automatically you know melt this thing lead and you can easily remove it but 
you have to carefully you know do this okay and uh, and once we remove and uh, I forgot to tell you one thing um, here you can see that diodes two diodes this is 5 volt and this one is 12 volt and this 12 volt here you can see that uh, one dash mark on the diode and also and also this 5 volt diode also you can see dash mark over on the diodes okay uh, you can that uh, like you know assume that uh, uh, is as a, as you as I said a plus mark or a symbol towards a symbol or towards a plus symbol you have to solder it over here you have to solder like uh, you know uh, just put over there and uh, both the solder points and just put some paste over there you just put uh, take a small quant of quantity of uh, lead because if you take it over you will spoil your board it cause over damage again uh, small of uh, you know lead and take it up and just put over here here you can see how, how I soldered it can you see that my camera is you know uh, it's my phone camera don't mistake me uh, see how I soldered it just simple but you need uh, some skill solder skill you need uh, at least uh, do it before uh, you experiment with that uh, see there are two, sol two, di two diodes which I soldered perfectly not perfectly uh, without any damage without any cause uh, see here I small lid up you just put a uh, needle uh, you know solid stick lid okay it's perfectly soldered I told you before that <coughs> uh, that a dash mark toward the dash on the diode mark towards a symbol or plus symbol and the 5 volt dash dash on the diode symbol uh, towards a plus mark or a mark don't uh, don't forget that okay before solder and the big one is 12 volt and the small diode is TVS diodes in the small diodes is 5 volt okay and uh, I soldered it and see I just before that I remove when I removed from here here one is 12 volt here you can see that the last one is 12 volt this circuit is coming over there see this this one is 12 volt and this one is 12 volt and this one is 5 volt and these two are uh, grown I don't know about uh, much more about electronics and uh, this one is coming over here and which I remote 12 volt diode and 5 volt diode okay you can from any hard disk you can use any hard disk but we need a uh, you know specific uh, diodes uh, which we can work up work it out in that another PCB board uh, you can see this this one is 40 GB hard drive Samsung you can see the model numbers also is a Heidi this one is a kind of Heidi uh, you can from, get it from anywhere it's working or not working hardest you can spend much uh, less money and uh, okay and uh, I couldn't show you because I already soldered it I do have only one board uh, which I uh, got burned it's got smoked when I plug the power cord uh, it's got smoked uh, if you spend if you give it to someone else uh, in the shop or uh, hard drive repair center it takes more money they'll they'll ask for more money to repair it someone says someone will say uh, it's not gonna work we're not gonna repair it or we have to spend more money for that don't spend that much money I'll teach you how like I uh, taught you how to solder it and work work it out again which I removed it from to this uh, you can take it anywhere any hard disk you can see the two diodes which one is big one which one is small is 12 volt is big one to the small one is 5 volt you can just easily remove it and easily just uh, solder it but you need some skill solder skill okay here here I have a hard drive that's Seagate 160 GB hard drive and uh, this one is the PCB board which belongs to Seagate okay uh, I'm gonna fix it up uh, no more need this hard drive hard drive 
we already removed the diodes, DPS diodes from the PCB board. Okay, this one is again, once again, scrap. You just throw it away again. And I just, I'm gonna screw it up again. Okay, once. There you go. Boom. I just screwed up. Uh, yeah, actually, I just screwed this hard drive from this, uh, you know, that PCB board uh, which is belongs to Seagate. I just screwed up. Uh, you can see the ID SATA Seagate 160GB hard drive. Okay, let's power it up. Then let's power it up. Let's see. Let's work. It's working. Uh, and then um, it's all it's all your own risk and um, uh, you know it might not it might work and it might not work and uh, it's highly chance to work I'm just just saying 90 percent it will work when one needs cut and a burn when diodes TVS diodes in this PCB board you can easily swap it from another board to another board for me, need some soldering skills to work it up again. This hard drive, uh, some you know valuable data is inside. If you the hard disk, right? Don't need to you know spend a lot of money. Okay, I'll show you. Then let's power it up. Let's come. Hi guys. Uh, because I'm using this for the hard drive on PS2, PS2 console. Um, uh, you know. If you if you're using the hard drive in the PC or something for extra hard drive, you can easily you can uh, check this out hard drive which is working or not. You can see easily go to the my computer manage uh, you manage. You can see the disk. Uh, one second, disk management. I'll show you one second. Disk management. <coughs> See the hard drive card detector. See because uh, this uh, MBR master board once uh, it's got a G a GPT hard drive, just got uh, partial. It's got a uh, partition and uh, for a hard drive for a PS2 because it's showing like this command box, this pop up. Okay and. Can you see that? Can you see that? This one is a disk unknown. 149 GB hard drive. This one is a Seagate hard drive. This one is mine. PC hard drive. Can you see that? And I'll show you once again. Here we go. Unlocated space. Because actually inside in the full of games which are uh, formatted, uh, which are unknown formatted. Uh, so that when you just close it, I'll show you the hard drive. It's got currently working. This is a Win app. Uh, actually, using the PS2 uh, software, it's can easily can detect in that. Uh, we cannot see the hard drive in the PC. You, if you're using this software, you can easily see what's going on inside the hard drive. Having a lot games inside. I also games. Uh, uh, here we go. That selected drive. Can you see that? That PZ one is hard drive, 153 GB hard drive. Actually, 160 GB hard drive mine. And this this one is a PS2. Can you see that? PS2 hard drive, 1.9 GB. Can you see that? I'm selecting this one. It is reading. See. Hard drive got worked. Everything's got perfect. Uh, finally, we done it without spending money, without uh, throwing up the hard drive, without throwing up you know valuable data inside. We can easily swap the TVS diode from another hard drive and just solder your PCB board and just fix it up again, and it's working right now. See. These all from the hard drive, Seagate 160. See how many games I have. Uh, now it's working. PCB board burned, and now it's working again. I worked up. 
I did it. Here we go, guys. This is how I made it. And don't forget to, you know, see the power fry is still running. The same hot fry. I the power plug. And this is all of your own risk. It might work, it might not work. Don't mistake me. Um, okay. Uh, don't forget to comment and don't get, forget to like and subscribe. Okay. Thanks. Bye.